this video will be reaction and test question of Invincible C season 1 episode 5 the reaction will now commence I also forgot to mention that this is part 1 yeah this book is he alive I hope he is come on I won't see him I'm really I really like detective superheroes I don't know what's with that maybe because my favorite superhero is one of them but anyway uh, you know what focus on this focus on this focus on this oh oh wait is this oh yeah this is the stone guy I do remember him I thought it would be another person Wait, the stone guy is actually attacking other criminals? I mean, I guess criminals do fight each other. Attack the guy that is literally made out of stone. I'm certain that's working out great for you. Yeah, your turn. I guess the ammunition did have an effect, just not very incredible one. This isn't the battle. Oh, heavy ammunition. Oh, the brutality. So, I wonder, why is he doing this? Is it for the money? Oh, next time you find your turf, so it's a... Okay. Don't be stupid, kid. I'm cutting you Whoa. Oh, the laser guy. So the villains are repeating. Who's letting them out? Is it the robot? I think it's probably ro the robot. You surrender? No! Okay. He should have waited. <sighs> I don't know. You went all the way across town to get cheesecake. To make up for being late, because... You killed yep. Is that crazy? Yeah, it kind of is. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that was a fun way. Good way to excuse it. Good way. Oh. Okay. So a turf war continues. You shouldn't have spoken, man. They'll put you up for a few weeks. What? What is that guy doing? He also spared the kid. This is interesting. Whoa! Quickly! Okay. Oh, he's also working. There's a... Okay, I don't feel bad about that. It's also getting dark. And I guess now we're getting this guy's backstory and everything. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So a villain with a good heart? Right. Okay, but you're gonna catch him, right? Yeah. In a second. In a second. And also, true, heroes probably from time to time should do that. But I do believe Omni-Man was... Mm. We all know that there is something with him. I think Sisu can make sure that those things are easier. Whoa. Uh, I need to turn on the light soon. But anyway, I'll finish this one in the darkness. Okay, so an interesting villain. I do appreciate that we're seeing this. And he is trying to be generally fair. Huh, <sighs> still. Just got hit by something. Ah, uh, yep, you did. Why don't you capture this guy? And, I mean, why doesn't Mark do it? I mean, I guess many super villains exist at the same time, but still. I assume he's holding him... Hmm. Okay, Ultron. Ooh. Huh? Right? What? That's bad. So, the training with Omni-Man is still... Hmm, it's suspicious. I tried to text you. Am I important to you, Mark? Oh. Yeah. It really doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Half the time we make, or you cancel, or you just don't show, and you're. But then you pick up the sushi. Yeah, right. And you're not a bad kisser. But that <laughs> the doesn't make part. it okay if you keep doing it. I've been down right. this road before, and once was enough. I'm. Uh, you're what? Are you gonna say it? I'm. I'm worried. I. This is. I don't think. Do better. I promise. That's the. Truth about being a superhero. You should. Oh my goodness, Mark. All right, I'm thinking of. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this happened again. Oh, the daughter. Oh, it's his daughter. Okay, I thought it was the daughter of the guy that he was going to throw off the window. People with superpowers would definitely have these type of struggles. I wonder how his metabolism actually works. By the way, I do remember this the guy that Invincible beat. Oh, there it is. That's what people say. <laughs> yep. He calls himself. Yeah. I saw that one. Now, the thing that... Oh, he's here. So he made sure that she will find it. Right, so you're looking through it. So this is... This guy's not very organized, but hey. So the costume... Is it because it had some of the juices from everyone else? I mean, only reason I agreed to you being a superhero 
was because Rex was there to take care of me. I, we thought Rex and he was keeping you safe. Hmm. Team team broke Why do they like Rex? Forgive him. What? All guys make mistakes. Don't be a... <laughs> wow, you were gonna say it to your daughter. I can rearrange atoms on a molecular level like it's easy. I'm not even sure I want to do this anymore. Oh. Good. That includes this stupid family. No. Oh. Wow, wow. I suppose if you have that much power before. Obviously, our powers were strong before, but... Oh my goodness, the powers, the powers. <laughs> really? So, the question is... What's happening with... Many possibilities, many possibilities. I know that this can be multiple seasons, five or even more, so... I know the story is nowhere near being done. At least I hope so. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> right. Oh, you're that guy I stopped from robbing a bank a few months ago. Right. My name's Titan. Let's do this. I didn't call you here to fight. Because I didn't? You got lucky. <laughs> sure. I called you here because I need your help. Oh? Why would I help you? I'm not a criminal. I just owed one money and now I can't get out. So? But you a hero? Helping people and taking down bad guys? Okay. Yeah? They don't get any worse from here. Who's your boss? Machine Head runs Big City. If it's illegal and it makes money, he's got muscle like me to take care of it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm more like a big picture superhero. Why don't you give a uh, fight force a call? Let hmm. me show you what you don't see from up there. What, like right now? You got somewhere to be? I mean, oh, <sighs> it's, <a bullshit> <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> but hey, oh, that's why it's actually it's a good thing to have some anti heroes like Titan, maybe the machine head. What do you want him to do, though? I stop. I stop. What? I don't know what was, was the name of the villain that he's with, but he can teleport. I mean, he would help if. So we're gonna let him be. Oh, okay. Isis help or something? I don't right. Know. Who can teleport him away if I'm not careful? I don't know. Do you think I should help this Titan guy out? You'd be making a huge mistake. Oh. Well, even if that was true, you're a Veltramite. Like this is beneath you. Ooh, Mom, beneath you. What happened with the tarot? Someone is never beneath you. Right. What happened with this little this. aliens? Was that missed? Did I miss an episode? I could have missed an episode. Would love to continue this, but I'll continue it in part two. And obviously enough, it's getting very interesting and I guess I should have really stopped whenever they started talking with the second part of the episode, which... Yeah, obviously enough, we're gonna see the league, and I'm very excited about their conversation. Obviously enough, because this is a part one of episode four reaction, I'm always gonna try to make the part one quick. So, clearly enough, honestly, this first whole half of the episode was Titan. And I do love that they're going into this. It's obviously enough one of the most obvious things they should go whenever you're talking about a superhero society. People that were put in bad situations become criminals. And yes, that is awful. It, it is very disappointing and it's also curious because I'm positive that he was able to capture that person but he escaped even though yeah this is the one thing I'm kind of missing is Invincible letting these guys go after he beats them up I'm kind of lost on that <laughs> because I'm pretty positive that Titan should be in prison unless he was able to escape by himself which okay and I do give props to Mark that he was able to listen to Titan and I'm not going to remember the other his other name if he, it was said before But yeah props to him that he was able to listen and understand his standpoint now Here is the thing. I absolutely agree that Mark should help him and Should absolutely make sure that he improves even the small city with just the, it's not small city But he improves the city and everyone in there but I also think that after he helps uh, Titan, he should put him in prison. That is the thing. Obviously, enough. Uh, I mean, yeah, it has been said before. Titan, obviously, enough is. Can't really say a good person because they have confirmed that he is, has been taking wives of certain individuals. Clearly, enough, he is trying to avoid it, but at most, at just the most, he can be called a what? I mean, I mean, yeah, just a person that has made some bad decisions and that is about that. 
there really isn't anything else. And I'm absolutely not judging the fact that he always did it because he wanted to save his daughter. They showed it to us and to Mark so that we understand why he's doing it. Still, the most moral thing to do would be to definitely help him. And afterwards, send him to prison, I guess. Although maybe he was released. I really don't know. That, as I said, that's the one thing I'm very confused about. I feel like every single villain that Invincible has fought has just escaped. Because, yeah, I don't know. Now, when it comes to Mark's relationships, hmm, they're getting more interesting and more interesting. We also have a little bit of uh, Eva, I think is her name. I think. But yeah, the only thing about her, at least in this first part of the episode, is she's stupidly broken. She can manipulate reality, which, okay. I don't understand why her parents don't have that power, but okay, maybe she's just born that way, maybe she was adopted. I don't think that's going to be explained anytime soon, but I'm certain there's going to be more of her in the next part of the reaction. Uh, I am looking forward to how the Titan situation would be resolved, and I really wonder whether Mark will go with my idea or whether he'll just help Titan and let him live his life. <sighs> because obviously this is one of those areas where... Absolutely honestly, either choice is perfectly fine and acceptable, and I wouldn't think less of Mark as a character, whichever he chooses. Now, the thing is, Machine Head, and obviously, you know, whatever is the name of his lucky. I wonder how that's gonna go. Obviously, enough, Machine Head doesn't seem super overpowered, but at the same time, no ideas. When it comes to other things, like the fact that, uh, what's the name, uh, I forgot his normal name, but Omni-Man, uh, he, he's saying that saving small people is beneath you. It's odd, it's very, 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 very odd. More and more we get out of this, the more I'm thinking that more than likely he is just trying to protect the earth and he's just trying to conquer it, he's trying to be the absolute best and everyone loves him so on and so forth. The thing about that is, why? Why would he get rid of the Guardians of the Globe? Especially because I assume at least some of them, considering, no, considering Red Rush's wife and Omniman's wife were, I guess, friends, at least they knew each other on name basis and they have talked before, so yeah, I assume they were at least acquaintances. So, I struggle to understand what in the world does Omni-Man win out of all of this, which I guess it's supposed to be the mystery. And I really do appreciate that. Regardless though, it's all super exciting. We did confirm, sadly enough, that Dark Blood is gone, but we do have his little um, diary. It's not a diary, but yeah. The th uh, thing that... What's the word? I'm struggling with the word. But the important thing is, uh, we have uh, evidence, or at least an investigation, kind of, that a w that would probably be helpful with taking down Omni-Man. But at the same time, with taking down Omni-Man, how would that... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I would love to talk more, but it's getting dark, and obviously, you know, in part 2, I will talk about the episode as a whole. But this was an enjoyable episode, and I wonder what's going to happen in the next... There's a video directing script on my channel that I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did.